Hello and welcome to COM 2230 Introduction to Mass Communication. My name is Dr. Laura Beth Dawes and I'm the person who built and created this online course. If I am your instructor this semester, I'm really looking forward to getting to know you and having you in class. But there's actually a very good chance that I'm not your instructor. If that's the case, uh, you still will see my face and hear my voice and see the words and visual aids that I've created along the way. So I wanted to take a moment and introduce myself to you and let you know that that's kind of how how this class is going to operate. Uh, I'm an assistant professor of communication and the online education coordinator here in the School of Communication and Media. I've been teaching at the college level since 2004 uh, and I have a pretty good amount of experience with designing and teaching online courses as well as face-to-face -face courses and hybrid courses. Uh, as far as my qualifications, I have a PhD in mass communication from the University of Kentucky, uh, an MA from communication or from Auburn University, uh, also in communication, and a BA in uh, communication from the University of North Alabama in Florence, Alabama, just a short 45 minutes from my hometown of Athens, Alabama. Uh, if you have a personal connection to any of those uh, places, give me a shout out because I always love finding and connecting with people who are either fellow Alabamians or UNA line or Kentucky Wildcats, or most importantly, Auburn Tigers. Um, I do a lot of uh, academic research in online teaching strategies. Really, my goal is to figure out what works best to educate you online uh, and also what doesn't work so we can stay away from including those features. Uh, other research interests I have include media history and the effects of social media. So you'll see my own research biases throughout the course because I do try to bring in my own research expertise wherever possible. Uh, some of the other classes I teach in the School of Communication and Media include uses and effects of mass media, research methods, and some graduate courses like one in uh, social media theory and concepts. So if I'm not your instructor this semester, hopefully I will see you in class uh, at a later date. Now I've created this course with a couple of goals in mind. First of all, I want you to leave this class with a really good understanding of the fundamentals of the field of mass communication. Now, I understand many of you who take this class are communication interest majors, and you are excited about the major, but you don't really know where you want to go or where your career path will take you. Let me first reassure you that at this point in your life, that's totally fine. I, I had no idea what I was doing with my comm degree for a, a shamefully long time uh, and fell into a career that I loved eventually. So this class uh, will very well help you learn to figure out kind of what in mass communication is out there in terms of career options and what might work best for you. So we'll talk about some of the most common career paths in mass communication and media studies. Uh, uh, the textbook and I both place a pretty heavy emphasis on the industry side of things. And so this will be your foundational course to prepare you for things like comm theory and the uses and effects class and global media systems. So this is going to be your starting off point. Um, another goal for this class is hopefully make the learning process enjoyable for you. I figure that you can pick up a textbook and read it, so I'm not going to rehash it. Um, instead, I'll use the textbook as a good starting point and go off in different directions based on what I think is personally interesting and what I think is going to be relevant to you and your career fields. Um, anything I can do to give you additional context is something that I'm, I'm really interested in for this class. So I hope that you find the online discussions engaging and productive and they're able to learn from your classmates in that way too. Now the last goal I have for this class is that regardless of who your instructor is, uh, I've designed this class to be uh, relatively easy to take it, uh, the, the content that I've got, and customize it based on um, your individual instructor's interest and expertise and creativity. We have some wonderful instructors here at Kennesaw who are going to have the opportunity to teach this course, and uh, I think this is probably my favorite class that we offer here in the School of Communication and Media, and I know a lot of other people feel that way too. So if I am not your instructor, uh, your instructor of record who will also do an instructor introduction is the person you need to talk to if you ever have a question about the day-to-day -day operations in the course. So your assignments, your quizzes, your tests, your discussions. Uh, I'm simply kind of like the game maker in the Hunger Games is how I'm viewing myself. Uh, I've, I've created this environment for us to, uh, to work with and each individual instructor gets to customize it based on what he or she feels is best. So thank you so much for being part of this class. Uh, I hope that it is an enjoyable one for you, and I hope that it's productive and that you learn a great deal of information. Thank you so much for being part of it, and uh, I look forward to meeting you at some point soon.